Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Here comes the another Monday, and we have another slow day in the market. However, we were able to get filled on a position on pound dollar bat. So stay tuned and check it out. Good morning and welcome back. It's the February the 11th and this is my morning market pre-analysis. So let's check out what do we have on the radar in a new week coming ahead. I have my six pair portfolio here where I'm trading the bats and golf list and currently backtesting these ciphers. The only thing that I can see here is potential Garthly on USD CAD, but let's see. I don't think this will this will be Garthly. Yeah, it still didn't touch the 61.8 retracement from uh, A to B. We have X to A uh, from B to C, so we still don't have a valid Garthly pattern. Uh, let's just see and wait. That's it. Nothing here on USD CAD. What do we have here? We have something. Uh, I should not trade Gartlis on Aussie Cat, but I can trade Bat. And I think we have a Bat. We have X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion up there. So if the price starts going up, I will have to take this trade. If it's going to be, wait, let me remove this. If it's going to be in my time period, uh, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion. In order to do so, I have to set myself an alarm. There we go. Ask. Yeah, so it's a bit higher. Why does it wanna? Uh, yeah, so yeah, there we go. Let me just see. Am I a little bit too too? Yes. So I'll have to adjust it. It's bad, isn't it? So it has to be around this price level right there. Okay. So we have a potential bat pattern here. We will see what's gonna happen. I can trade this normally from uh, as per my back that from five in the morning until um, five p.m. And basically that's it. Now we are waiting. Uh, Aussie USD. We might have also something. Gonna see what. What's this all about? This is my X A to B. Now we're gonna see what can I trade here. Yeah, we might have a bat as well, but 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 I should not trade bats here, as you can see, because they're not profitable for me on all the USD. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. So yeah, but I think it, this came very, really, really close to uh, 88.6 completion point, and I, uh, if you were to forward uh, front run it, you might be the high 7108. Yeah, you would probably need to uh, close the trade because it already no. Yeah. So in this case, this price point came very close to my 88.6 completion. Uh, so if it hits 38.2, I would have to close it anyway because I would consider the move being made. Euro dollar still drifting down to the to the level that I think that it's gonna come, which is here, here, and here. Here is the first level. Here is the second level. So we will see what's gonna happen. Currently, I don't see anything interesting here. Maybe also a pattern forming, but we are far from it. We didn't. Even, we, we don't even have a second leg. Like we, however, have X to A. We don't have A to B, not, nor B to C, etc. So I'm still waiting. Nothing on this pair for me. Pound dollar. Okay, yeah, this is something that we have from last week. 
uh, this would be a bad pattern, we, but we should not go over bought or over sold over 80 and 20. So I still waiting for the price to come to the completion point, which it might. So and I might be able to get engaged into this trade today. We will see what's going to happen if it does. I'm definitely going to set myself a ta target here. OK, create alert. So if it starts pulling, pushing down, I will get the notification on my cell phone and then I will be notified, you know, to go to check out the charts and maybe get engaged in this trade if everything else will be based on my rules. Pound yen. Let's see what do we have here. I, if I remember, remember correctly, we didn't get this 50 last week. Yes, exactly. But the market did open. So X to A, A to B, B to C and C to D. Let's just check out our B to C leg. B to C would be. Yeah, so we have a valid bat pattern. OK, so. We need to create. Let me do this X to A, A to B, B to C for now and C to D far, far away from completion. But again, something to have on a radar. Let me put this as a set price alert. There we go. So that's it. That's everything that I see for today. We have the USD CAD. Something is mixing up the Gartley, but uh, no, what was it? The, nah, we, yeah, we didn't touch the 61.8, so we don't have a Gartley. Aussie CAD, we have a potential bad pattern. Uh, we Here we have nothing because I cannot trade it with somebody who has, then you can trade bad, possibly Euro dollar, nothing, pound dollar, bad, and pound yen, bad. So that's it for now. Later today, I will record a afternoon session. We will see how will, how will this day and thank you very much for watching and talk to you soon bye bye hi hi guys and welcome back so uh this is our afternoon session on monday and let's see what we got here i'm i should not trade the garkley on usd cat let's see did we get a bat i think we did not yeah we didn't get anything nothing has changed here so there is nothing although i was looking at the of this trade here which was a bad pattern if you take a look we have x to a a to b b to c and c to d completion i set my alarms but uh price breached my a point in this case and uh, i have nothing else on this pair okay so i'm gonna close it for now uh aussie cad i was looking at this pattern which is bad i can trade it i needed it to go overbought and oversold it breached my A pattern, uh, my A point, and so we don't have anything right now. We might have something, but now this is Gartley. I do not trade Gartley on this pair, so there is nothing for me here. Aussie USD, uh, I thought that we have something like this here, X to A, A to B, but this is not actually at a 50% retracement, so we had nothing. X to A, A to B, B to C. What did we have here? Uh, it didn't get activated, I think. Yeah, so A to B, yep, far away from 88. If, if you take a look, this was our high, 71. It was 3.2 pips, nothing here for us. So let's see Euro dollar. There is nothing on Euro dollar. I was taking you nothing for us, no sign of patterns. Pound dollar is the interesting pair. We got activated in this bad pattern we were waiting for the entire day, just got activated one hour ago. It's currently heading against us, so we have to adjust our target slightly. So let's do this right now. I, I, we will see how far away, how often will I need to adjust it. Actually, they're almost where they need to be, but not quite there. So I'm just adjusting slightly. Okay, I'm about to make, if we hit both targets, we will make what? 30 euros if we hit just 111 euros if the price doesn't go against us at this point and uh, that's it uh, what else pound yen uh, I was eyeing this pattern right there bad pattern but the a point well it might still be active this would be the bad pattern in this case x to a yep that that would be our bad 
this is x to a a to b b to c c to d but as i can trade it only uh, from 5 in the morning until 1 pm gmt time uh, i'm not able to trade it right now because you know it's after 1 pm this is not the guard list so i can't trade it uh, I cannot take an entry right now, maybe tomorrow morning, maybe then we might be able to trade it. There was also one thing here on this pair, if you saw it, I don't think, I didn't see it, so it's absolutely fine. There was a pattern which is Gartley, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, and it currently hit, I'd say, uh, it would probably hit two targets, but if you were to trail your stop, it, this candle right here would close you out. Yeah, so with that being said, I'm still waiting for the uh, bad pattern to complete, maybe tomorrow morning. And that's it. If you're new here, this is my re uh, daily Forex market analysis on the six pair portfolio that I'm trading. Currently, I'm trading just bats and Gartleys, where, where on some of the pairs, I'm not trading bats, and some of them, I'm not trading Gartleys. And I'm also in the process of backtesting these ciphers on all of this uh, on the entire portfolio. With that being said, if you like the video, click that like button. Also, make sure to share the video so that as many people can see it. Click that subscribe button and smash that bell button. Again, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.